there's a little bit about Twitter, which is the application that we're using within Oxford House to keep people notified what's going on within Oxford House for internal communications and also to let the outside world know a little bit about what we're doing as well. So first thing we need to do is actually go to twitter.com. So you put that into your browser and then you want to go ahead and click on the get started link there right at the bottom in green and that's going to go ahead and create your account for you. Once we go ahead and get started we're going to put in our full name. So I'm going to create a, an account for Jessica here and put in a username for her. So I'm going to put in Jessica Norgram. And then enter her password at the bottom there. And it's going to give you an idea of whether it's a good password or not. And then next, go ahead and put in your email address. So I'm going to put in an email address for Jessica. Then we scroll down a little bit. And right here we have a an anti-spam or anti-robot uh, device that the, a lot of websites use. So you just keep clicking on show me new words until you can get something that you can actually read. So I'm going to click again and again and again. And here we got said Augusta, which is pretty readable. So then I go ahead and click on create my account. All right. You can see if your friends are on Twitter, I'm going to actually go ahead and skip this part. Scroll down to the bottom and click on skip. And I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not going to follow anybody at this point. So I'm going to click on the select all, and then click on finish. Okay. So the basic account is created. I'm going to click on settings now, and make some quick modifications. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a location of Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm also going to tell it to protect my updates so not anybody can just come along and start following what I'm doing. All right, next thing I'm going to do is click on devices. This is where you're going to enter your mobile phone information, your cell phone information. Okay, so go ahead and put in Jessica's cell phone here. And then click on the save button to the right. Okay, next thing it's going to do is give you a code that you need to type into your cell phone. And then you send that to the 40404 number, which is the SMS number for Twitter. And that proves to Twitter that you are in control of that phone and you're able to send text messages from that phone. So you can see in this case, the code is JWMPTM. So I'm going to bring up my mobile. I'm going to go ahead and put in 40404 as the number I'm going to send to, and then type in that code message. And you can see the message sending. Now it's sent. All right. Now, once the message is sent, you want to wait about 30 seconds, maybe a minute or so. And then if you click on the tab to the right of the devices, or to the left, or basically just click away from the screen, and click back again, what that's going to do is, is refresh the screen and you should see something like this. You can see your mobile phone number is reflected there and you can specify the times of day that you want to receive messages or not receive messages. And you can see here that I've also now received a text message from Twitter verifying that they've put my phone and approved my phone. Okay, so at this point, we've got our Twitter account set up. We've set up our mobile phone number, got our mobile phone approved by Twitter, so Twitter knows it is our mobile. So the next thing we need to do is actually start following some people so that we start getting this information. So if you're looking to follow Oxford House, this is where you do it. You're going to go ahead and click on the Find People, and that's going to enable you to search for whoever you want to follow. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and type in Oxford House. And I can go ahead and click on follow to the right there. And you can now see that I am following. That's because Oxford House has got no restrictions on who can follow us because that's the external facing account. Now the internal account for the, only the people that are residents of Oxford House is Oxford House GA. It's a different logo you'll see. Uh, it says internal updates. And if you click on follow now, you can see that now it says pending, it doesn't say following. 
and that's because that it has to be approved on the other side. So if we go in the back end, you can actually see that we can go ahead and enable our new followers right here by clicking on this link. And I've got two followers. I've got Jay Harden. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that and go ahead and allow Jessica as well. Okay, now when I go back to Jessica's account right here, you can now see that she is following two people, which would be Oxford House GA and Oxford House External, just Oxford House. So if she wants to go to the notification center or cell phone, then she has to go ahead and click on the on button for both those options right there. If you don't do that, it's going to be sent to your computer. It will not be sent to your cell phone. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and send a status update. So I'm going to send out a notification about volunteering at Angel Foods here. And go ahead and send that out. And that's going to go to my two followers there. And if I go back to Jessica's page, you can see that that is now refreshed on, on the page. So as you can see it on the website there. And now also you can see it on the cell phone as well. So it usually takes a couple of minutes for the text message to come through to the cell phone. And that's pretty much it. It's, uh, it's real simple and it's a good way to keep everybody updated with what's going on. Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. And I do appreciate you being around.